Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. This is another question from the um, October, November 2021 um, 0580 syllabus, paper 4, variant 1 from the IGCSE Cambridge um, Examining Board. And this question here is about vectors. This is actually question 7, part B. This is question 7, part B. Um, and other questions on the paper you can find, including part A, by clicking on the link at the end of the video over here, it will take you to the playlist where you can find other questions on the paper. This is question 7, part B, which is about vectors. It says OABC, uh, sorry, o, o, A, B, C is a trapezium and O is the origin and M is the midpoint of AB. So obviously these two sides are parallel. Okay, it says OA is equal to P and OC is equal to Q, and OA is equal to 2CB. So OA is equal to 2 times CB. So if O to A is P, then this must be the same um, direction as this, so it must be in terms of P, and it's a half the length of OA, because it says OA is 2 times um, CB. That means CB is a half of OA, so this vector would be a half P. Okay, because they're parallel and they can be expressed in terms of each other. So if I, it says find in terms of P and Q the position vector of M, giving your answer in the simplest form. Now the position vector, the position vector of a point means from O to that point. So when they are, whenever they ask you about a, um, the position vector, you always will find an O or an origin in your diagram. So the position vector of M means the vector from O to M. And we know the vector from O to M if we look at it, O to M, I can think of O to M as going from um, O to A and then A to M, if you want. I can think, think of it as going from O to A plus A to M. All right, so we need to find what A to M is. Okay, O to A is no problem, that's P. Now, what's A to M? Well, A to M, we can say A to M, I'll just put it up here is equal to, if we think about a to m, um, is equal to a half of a to b. Because m is a midpoint of a, b, so a to m is a half of a to b. And to go from a to b, you can go all the way around in terms of vectors we know. So you can think of it as uh, that's minus p plus q and plus a half p. Minus p plus q plus a half q, that's from um, a to b, this is a to b. Okay, so a to b therefore is going to be q minus a half p, q minus a half p. Okay, from a to b is going to be q, okay, minus a half p. So q minus a half p, we'll get you from a to b, that looks about right to me, q plus a half b, Therefore, a to m is going to be a half of that. Okay, therefore, a to m is going to be a half times q minus a half p. So, a to m is going to be a half q, sorry about that, half q minus a quarter, q, uh, quarter, p, a quarter p. So, a half q minus a quarter p. That's from a to m. That's the vector from A to M, half of A to B, okay, and as we said, A to B is minus P plus Q plus a half P, so that gives you Q minus a half P, and then A to M is a half of that, so therefore we can say from O to M, which is what we're trying to find, the position vector of M is O to A, which is P, plus A to M, which is a half Q minus a quarter P. So if we find <laughs> find what that is, P minus a quarter Q, sorry, P minus a quarter P is three quarters P plus a half Q. And there's the vector, the position vector of M. Three quarters P plus a half Q. Okay, and, and that's the answer here. So three quarters P plus a half Q. And that's the answer to this question. Seven part B. Other other questions from this paper, as I said, can be found in the playlist in this area here. Other questions from vectors 
can be found from GC GCSE Vectors can be found in this playlist and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.